yo, 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 one, two, one, two, it's your boy Skeeter Steve, and welcome to another episode of Can I Kick It, where we're giving you in-depth reviews of sneakers from the past, the present, and even possible future drops though, man, but man, we just here for the culture, man, we just love sneakers, sometimes a drop could be, you know, worth it. Sometimes the drop may be early or some drops the drop may be late, but hey, we're better than ever. But we're here to review it though, man. But uh glad to be back with y'all, man. You know, you know, as you know, we're gearing up. The late Strong's crew about to get ready to head to Atlanta for Revolt World, and Revolt World is a three-day festival of you know with entrepreneurs influencers, rappers, podcasters, and creatives just all in the building. Just networking and just sharing with one another, man. There are going to be panels. There's going to be performances. It's just going to be a lot of dope things going on. And it's going down this week in Atlanta, man. So, yo, if y'all got time in the Atlanta area or if y'all want to book some last-minute tickets, man, y'all go on ahead and go check it out. I guarantee it would be worth it, though. So today's review, man, I'm kind of excited about it, though. So it's a running shoe. You know, uh, marks 22 years in the game. It came back out uh, back in 2021. Yes, 2021. Kind of got overlooked. But, hey, man, look, I'm here for it. And we are talking about none other than the Nike Ghost Racer. And this time, the Ghost Racer we are talking about, we are talking about the black and the hyper pink, as you can see. Woo, man, this is just a, just an amazing, amazing shoe, guys. So, yes, let's get into it, man. Uh, but before we get into it, though, let's get into the history, though. The Nike Ghost Racer was released in 1999, and it's a retro running shoe, and it features a door line, midsole, and a zoom air. And these retros keep in the zoom, and we're not sure if they're using the door line, but leave marks on the ground. But, you know, there are different pairs starting around, and coming around and the pair that i have is the black and the hyper pink and i also have a pair of some black and some royal blue so but the material let's get into the material of these shoes um it has mesh suede leather and plastic rubber you know on the upper shoe and then you know bottom rubber on the bottom and then a little bit of rubber on the side though, but mostly of the shoe, you can see a little bit of the suede and a little bit of the leather though, man. But the overall materials on here is just amazing. Like really, really amazing. We can start in our front with the netting, with the different type of netting patterns on the front, with the pink, and then as you move up, move up to the shoe, you see it on the tongue and then on the side of the panels of the shoe. And then when you get to the top of the tongue, got that bright, hyper pink nike sign man just amazing oh my god <laughs> just pretty pretty much amazing and then as you when you get in the shoe it got the nike zoom air on there and it's just amazing now how do these shoes fit how do they fit now running shoes are very very very, very different from the ones that you know from the lifestyle running shoes you know the Air Maxes, the uh, the Structure Triads, the Nike, uh, the Airspans. So these type of running shoes are different. And with the sizing on these, you will have to go a whole size up. I'm normally a size 9. And then depending on the shoe, if it's an Adidas, I'm mostly like a 9.5. And, and then depending, like what we said, on on a Nike shoe, like my Vermeros, my Vermeros, or eight and a half because they run to have a tendency to run big, very, 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 very big. But with these, where it's just sleek and narrow, and the restructure and handcraft of these materials, yes, you will have to go a full size up. So if you wear a nine, get a ten. If you wear a ten, get an eleven. And if you wear an eleven, get a twelve. Plain and simple, though. But I guarantee, like the shoe, the shoe is worth it. And then, you know, uh, copping places where you can cop them. Uh, eBay been having some crazy steals on these sneakers for like 70, 80, even 90 bucks. But the minimum you'll probably pay maybe like 120, 130, 
maybe 140, you know, depending on what site that you go on, whether it's GOAT or StockX. I had got my pair from GOAT, <laughs> you know, and then there are other colors that are floating around. They have an orange and white color. They have a Volt with a red, which I want to get my hands on because I just think that would be a dope. Even though summer is coming to an end, but I think that would be a dope fall shoe as well. You know what I'm saying, though? But this hyper pink, though, is super dope, man. Different type of layers that you could put with this. Um, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much uh, camo, camo pants, blue jeans, uh, light blue jeans, dark blue jeans, uh, black cargos, black pants. You know, just however you feel it is fitting of this. And, you know, if you want to throw it off, throw it off. At the end of the day, it is your style, your swag on what you want to do. Now, on a scale, on a 1 to 10, comfortability, I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is a solid 10. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, I said it. A solid 10. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, man, because, oh, man, the comfortability is just amazing. Like, you put your foot in here and feel like you got on socks. It is very, very breathable because of the netting in front of the shoe and in the side of the shoe makes it to appear where, man, like you could literally wear this sneaker all day. Like, I'm not even going to lie to you. You could really, really wear this all day with no problems and no issues, though. But uh, I, would, I would highly, highly recommend adding this sneaker into your collection, especially if you're a fan of uh you know of runners and you know just loving different type of sneakers uh in this repertoire but i think this is this is a cop a, a cop and things that you know people in the sneaker community have a habit of overlooking because you know we live we live in the air if it ain't hype they ain't gonna buy it which i think is just a bunch of bull if you ask me but i mean if you like it i say grab it Plain and simple. If you like it, I say grab it. Like, for real. And this is a grab that you won't be disappointed because also another reason why I grabbed this black and hyper pink and have reminiscence of the Nike Air Max 180 black and hyper pink CDGs, which another sneaker that I definitely want, though, but the prices is still crazy. I don't know. Will I do it? <laughs> Will I not do it, though? But all I know, they need to lower the prices for those because that's still a grab that I want to grab. And that's a phenomenal shoe, though. But back to the black and hyper pink. Um, like I said, uh, comfortability, 1 to 10. The swag on here is just a 10. And then you can put different outfits together. But, I mean, it's just dope. But, all right. That concludes the end of our episode of Can I Kick It, though, man. I just want to just say thank you for continuing to support. Uh, let people know. Like, subscribe, comment, tell a friend that tells a friend that tells another friend about this sneaker. Like, seriously, this sneaker is just phenomenal and dope, though, man. And just thank you. Uh, we have 213 subscribers on our page, so we're on that road to 1K. You know what I'm saying? So, so you know, just uh, like, subscribe, tell a friend that tells a friend, and that tells another friend. Like we, like we definitely, definitely appreciate y'all here on Can I Kick It? But until then, this is your boy Skeeter Steve. We out.